Hey folks, Eddie from Brain Pulp TV back with the fourth part and the third match of this Eldritch Moon Draft League. Now, if you haven't watched the previous parts, a link will be appearing above my head to take you to the first part. If you have, you know we've won our first two matches, which is great. We are now going into the last one, and this is a, unless I click the wrong one, a 6 2 2 2 league which means that if we win this match we get six packs if we don't we get two which makes me wonder if our opponent is going to offer a split i would rather not take a split even if it means missing out on an extra two packs because i'd rather do a video for you guys so i'm going to roll the dice hopefully my opponent isn't going to be too annoyed but um yeah let's see how we do in this third and final match okay would we like to play first yes uh yeah 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 we got we got turn one play but that only puts us on two lands we have a turn three play but we need to catch more lands i you know what i'm gonna mulligan this i think i should mulligan this this is a little bit better yeah we're gonna keep this we'll keep this certain death i think we can put in the bottom for now now do we want to bring out yeah let's bring out uh crypt breaker first Uh, wow. I think I want to, you know what? Let's, let's swing in. Now I'm going to pale rider. I'm going to, uh, pitch the vessel because ironclad when it comes back in can take the vessel back from our graveyard. So let's go ahead and pale rider. get rid of the vessel we also have toppelgeist next turn for sure even if we don't catch another land which would be able to tap down whatever creature he puts up that's a dragoon we do catch a swamp so here i'm going to swing in with the pale rider don't think they're going to chump nope Ironclad Slayer and bring back the vessel. Aura or equipment. Oh my god, not just enchantment. I do so love it when I make stupid mistakes on camera. I'm actually still happier to have the Ironclad Slayer out in the vessel, but when you're expecting the vessel to come back in your hand, it's not enchantment, it's aura or equipment. Will they swing in? Of course they will. Uh, if you have no cards in hand, deals two damage to target creature or player. They have cards in hand, thankfully. No blockers. Well... Bring out the Toppelgeist. Tap that down. And I'm going to swing in with those two. I'm going to keep the Crypt Breaker up. I should play the Swamp. But I want to put a 2-2 two -two zombie creature token on the battlefield. What are the zombies? This is the only other zombie, right? So we're still a ways away from being able to start drawing cards. Do I want to trade with the zombie for that? I don't think I can. You know, I'm going to let it through. I'm going to let it through. They're at their end step. Um, I'm going to hold off. Asylum Visitor. Okay, now...
Okay, now this does not have flying. All right, so we will swing with the Toppelgeist. Swamp, and I'm going to go ahead and play the Asylum Visitor. I could have madnessed it out. What the hell was I thinking? What the hell was I thinking? I've got to start paying attention. I'm going to lose this game due to silly mistakes. Okay, so this... This is the one that... Uh, whenever it deals with combat damage to player, exile the top card of your library. To the end of turn, you may play that card, man. Okay. Oh. It's got flying, so it's going to fly overhead. That's fine. We're still ahead on damage. We have no cards in hand, so Asylum Visitor is going to be able to uh, give us extra card draw. Which is good. I can't believe I didn't madness that out. What the hell was I thinking? I wasn't thinking is what it was, so... Now, they could easily remove this. They probably have a ton of removal. They can swing in for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I think I'm going to put the Ironclad Slayer in front of it. They could pump it, and that's fine. It's got trample. There are those red spells that give it plus three. Or they just need to do that. And they bring out a vampire noble, and they are one land off from being able to cast it. Righty, oh, so we don't have enough for Faith Bearer Paladin. We do have enough for Guardian of Pilgrims. So I'm going to put this on the Pale Rider. They're not making it. They're not doing a block. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. They're gonna give it flying and cast nothing for madness. Oh, they're going for delirium. What do they have that has delirium? Okay. They have one card in hand. They can prevent one thing from blocking. That's fine. Now this is put a 2-2 black zombie creature token on the battlefield, not tapped. Okay. If you have no cards in hand, it deals two damage to target creature or player. It's going to deal two damage to that. That sucks for us. Um, yeah, that sucks, but... So here we just take four. Yeah, I'm going to keep the Faith Bearer Paladin just in case we catch a land. And we do. So that helps us. So they still have a flyer. We can force blocks here. And I think we almost have to. They have no cards in hand. They have nothing they can play from the graveyard. If we swing in with everything, Okay. 
Okay, so I'm I am okay with that. I'm okay with what we did there. We got rid of the thing that they can fly, so now we can start toppelgeisting in for one per turn. We have uh, actually no, we won't be able to because it's going to be two two damage to creature or player. So it will be doing two damage to one of these two, one of these two, either Crypt Breaker or Toppelgeist. Probably Crypt Breaker, I think, would be the bigger threat right now because they know we're two off of Delirium. So. Not attacking. Okay, this could be big for us. I wonder what they have. Just swinging with the topple guys this turn. And hold off. Now, that might have been a mistake, but I want to hold off Grotesque Mutation until I can actually either save one of our guys from an untimely death or sneak in for the win. Collective Brutality, it's going to get... You gain two life. So they're doing for two. Okay. Now we have, we don't have a vampire. <laughs> oh, so what do we do here? They got no cards in hand. If we swing in with both. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring out the Crusader. Yeah, I'm not attacking with anything. I'm not, I'm gonna bring out the Crusader. They can, she, they can, if they want to swing in an attack, they can kill the Crypt Breaker. That's fine. Uh, Dread Knight, what does that thing do? Discard, put two. Okay. I don't think we block here. No, we're going to take four. That's fine. And we just swing in with everything, right? Because we're doing four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we would go going up to thirteen, they can do ten to us, ten, twelve to us. So yeah, we swing in with both. And that's enough to win the game. That is the reason why I really wanted to hang on to Grotesque Mutation until it could mean the difference between winning and losing the, the, the game. There's too often in the past, because I, I, I watch my previous games, obviously, when I edit them, so I realize too often in the past I burn certain cards because it's like, oh, I can get it for a bit of extra damage or a little bit of extra life gain. And if I had just held off and bided my time a bit, that could have been the result. So that's why I held off. So we won the first game. We still have one more game to win. We're not out of this yet. Our opponent's deck looks really solid. I'm actually pretty worried. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it works out for us. We're also not really, really low on time, which is what happened to us last time. I think this is a pretty slow opening hand, but I'm going to keep it anyways. Yeah, I think we can keep it. They've mulliganed down to six. They're deciding if they want to mulligan down to five. They've kept. Okay. Okay, so we have some good creatures in our hand. We don't have the mana to cast the Midnight Scavengers or the Crusader. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, we're going to be able to bring out Crow Dark Tidings the following turn, which will be able to deal with one of their flyers at least. And we did pick up another land, so we are going to be able to cast either Midnight Scavengers or the Crusader. See if they have a three drop. They do. Olivia's Dragoons. More land, which I'm not super upset about because it gives us fodder actually for Angelic Purge because now we can we can get rid of one of those lands if we need to. Uh, Ironclad Slayer and a Swamp. Okay.
I'm going to actually block the Blood Sworn here. It can't block, I know, but we can take care of Olivia's Dragoons if, unless it gives, unless they give it flying, and to give it flying, they're going to have to discard a card. I realize they have a lot with Madness, but I'm not super, super worried about that right now. We can bring out Sanctifier of Souls, so thank goodness we picked up a turn four play, which is awesome. We also have an extra land to burn for Angelic Purge a little later on. Or we can do it next turn if we really want to. Madness, yeah, so they're going to be able to bring stuff out. That's fine. I mean, we're going to be low on the um, the life scale, but we do have we do have life linkers, including, and that's a really good target right now anyways for Angelic Purge. Supplicants. Okay. So now we have a few options. We can Guardian of Pilgrims. That gives us plus one, plus one. That would also leave up to bring out a spirit token, if need be. Uh, this would become a 4-5, so then they wouldn't be able to even double block it. So let's do this. Let's do the Guardian of Pilgrims. I'm going to swing in. Now, do we Angelic Purge here? No, I think I'm going to keep up for Spirit. Let's get rid of um, Ironclad Slayer. I'm going to double block. No, cancel that. Block that and block that. Because we have Midnight Scavengers which can bring the Guardian Pilgrims back into our hand. So we'll be taking two. Madness. Saves it. I'm actually I'm actually not too too upset about this. Now what can we do here? We can angelic purge when we're at nine. We can angelic purge one of them. Pale Rider would be nice, and it will allow us to keep up to create a spirit token. Yeah, let's do this. Um, and I don't... I mean, I think we can swing in here and it should be fine. But I'd rather keep Sanctify Our Souls at the block next turn. I think we need to sort of like hold off and create more of a board state. Now they have a ton with madness. So Olivia being able to discard Olivia's dragoon being able to discard in command is is doing serious work for them. Apparently didn't have anything there for it. Get rid of the crow. I'm not going to block with it. I'll take the damage. Uh, 
Uh, I should bring out Midnight Scavengers here, right? I'm going to bring out the Crusader. I want, I want the ability to gain a little bit of life back. And I think I swing in with this. I mean, they could have a trick in hand, and that's fine. But I want them to use the trick. Ugh. Well, we have our Angelic Purge target, that's for sure. Yeah, we're pretty screwed next turn. Oh, I hate that thing. <laughs> oh, the one card they could have in their hand. Yeah, we lose two life. And there we go. No, that was a good game. That was a good game. That was a good game. So, what to do now? Uh, do we need more flyers? I don't think so. Maybe strange augmentation, no. Prying questions, no. I don't, th I, you know, I think I'm fine with riding with this deck. It's, it's, it's gotten us here so far. I think, I think we're okay to keep it. This is actually, I'm pretty okay with this opening hand. Yep. I will keep this opening hand. They're deciding if they want to mulligan down to six. They do mulligan down to six. They mulligan down to five. They mulligan down to four. Wow, do I feel bad for our opponents. Um, our opponents? Our opponent. That's an awful deficit to have to come back from. If I got the vessel right away, it would be even worse for them. Okay, so... I'm going to actually pitch Swamp. Because everything in our hand costs three. Swing in. Uh, I'm going to bring out the Supplicant. Probably should have brought out the birds, but... Actually, I probably should have brought out the Ironclad Slayer, because it's three. It would put way more pressure on them. Okay. Attack with both. So next turn, we can do six, seven, eight to them. They finally caught another land. Brutality. Um, yeah, let's swing it with both. Bring out the vessel. The vessel we can either use to make them discard, or we can... Yeah, we're going to use it as fodder for Angelic Purge. So we can bring out the birds next turn. We can bring out Crypt Breaker. The only thing we can't bring out is Weirded Vampire. Well, for the first draft league that we got to participate in, we did quite well. Obviously, we won. That last game for our opponent was rough because you mulligan down to four. Essentially, if you mulligan down to three, you forfeited the game. So if you mulligan down to four, you're in a really rough spot. They came close to being able to dig it out, and sadly, we just had the answer for them right at the end when they might have been able to, to get something going um, with the Vampire Lifelinker. Still, despite the fact that our opponent did have bad luck, I, I gotta admit, I'm kind of happy to finally win a draft on camera for you guys. I've, 
I don't remember the last time I've actually won an entire draft on camera. Have I ever won an entire draft on camera? If I have, let me know which one it was. I don't know if I have or not. But uh, I think I might have won one of the flashback drafts, but I can't be sure. So we did get six packs. This is going to help us to continue on doing drafts for the channel and uh, create more videos for you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video series. If you have any questions, comments, advice, still, even though I ended up pulling out uh, a big win for this draft league, uh, I, I would like any advice you guys may have. So please leave that in the comment section below. You can also follow and contact us on Twitter. It is at TV, or you can follow and contact me directly at Twitter at Geek Tragedy. And now that all that is said, take care, everyone. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to us here at the channel, and I'll see you all very soon.